After the great success achieved by GER Detect in cooperation with UIG detectors in Titan GER 400 device, we have completely upgraded the old device into a Titan 400 smart device. which integrates three professional and innovative systems specialized in detecting underground gold, precious metals, buried treasures, and ancient monuments. T10 400 smart device with a completely new design. Besides, the device is the first of its kind in the world. T10 400 smart devices were developed to operate with ease in all kinds of soil and the most difficult climatic conditions. T10 400 smart devices can bypass all types of mineral rocks with automatic calibration technology, including sedimentary, metaphoric, and igneous rocks, which consist of two types granite and basalt, which are among the worst types of rocks that impede the works of many devices in the market due to the change in the rocks as a result of their chemical interaction with the earth and their transformation into rock tissues, i.e. mineral components. T10 400 Smart works with three different search systems on one device. First, the long-range search system. Second, the ionic field search system. Third, VLF metal detection system. T10 400 Smart allows the user to work with two control systems, the touch system and the keypad system. Also, the device is characterized by several functions. The device contains six languages – German, French, Italian, English, Spanish, Arabic. It operates with a front range of 3,000 square meters and a depth of 25 meters. A settings menu that contains adjust volume, adjust brightness level, device information. First. We open the device case to check its attached components, a carrying and protective case of the device. Two-year warranty card. A surge coil size 30 by 30 centimeter. The main unit of the device. A device handle. Ionic sensor. A long range sensor. Three antennas, a signal recipient, the portable arm device, an armrest. An electric charger. An electric car charger. Headphone supports cable and Bluetooth technology rechargeable. A multi-use shovel as a gift. A plastic nail to fix the search coil to the arm. An internal rechargeable battery of 3.6 volts. How to connect the Bluetooth headset to the device. Turn on the device by pressing the on-off button for 2 seconds.
Turn on the Bluetooth headset by the on-off button on the speaker. Turn on the Bluetooth in the device via the button on the device of the main unit. Wait 2 seconds for a successfully connected headphone. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. You can also use the headphone cable after connecting it to the designated part in the main unit. The Long Range System Install the handle of the device. Then install the Long Range Sensor. The device will switch to the sensor system automatically. Install the transmitting and receiving antennas. Connect the antenna to the signal receiver. Then attach the signal receiver to the device. Four years ago, a team of researchers and specialists at UIG Detectors had buried a wooden box that contained an ounce of some coins. 24 karat gold and a piece of gold nugget at a depth of 1.7 meters. This is to conduct a real field test on Titan 400 smart device. Note, this target has been buried for at least 4 years until the ionic field begins to form, which gives more possibility to capture the target from long distances and to obtain greater depths. Therefore, testing the device on metals laid on the ground or newly buried under the ground will not show the real capacity and functionality of this device to detect the target or to reach larger depths. The reason for that is that ionic fields and radiations from gold and other metals that have been buried in the ground for a long time and have intersected and interacted with the soil and the nature of the earth, as well as having been regulated with the magnetic fields north and south. These features do not actualize in gold and other metals when they exist on the ground or newly buried. Enter the search systems. Choose the target type to search for. Gold. Gold nuggets. Bronze. We will choose several targets because the box contains different pieces of metals. After choosing the target, a search screen will appear, which contains an indicator for determining the target's location. The front range of the device, 
Sensitivity level. Choose the appropriate front range for the search area to be covered. From 100 meters to 500 meters, 1,000 meters, 1,500 meters, 2,000 meters, 2,500 meters, and 3,000 square meters by pressing the positive negative button. You can control the sensitivity of the long range system by pressing the positive negative button. Fix the device at a 90 degree angle for a better performance. It is essential to make sure that you are standing north to south. The reason for that is that ionic fields are radiations emanating from gold and buried treasures that have been remaining under the ground for a long time and have immersed and interacted with the soil, taking into account the nature of the Earth's formation and its alignment with the magnetic lines north and south. As a user, you must take off all belongings that affect the functionality of the device. For example, a wristwatch, a cell phone, a wallet, a ring, a belt. The shoes must not contain any metals. If no signal is detected, you should change direction. from east to west. And from west to east. And from south to north. And when any signal is detected, the device will activate three functions simultaneously to confirm the target's location. The signal recipient will turn directly towards the target. The target direction appears on the smart screen. When the signal recipient turns round, it'll emit an alert sound. Trace the signal. And when the antenna turns back, you will have gone past the target. You can find the search site by marking it as the confirmed target location. Then confirm the location of the target from the four sides, from south to north, from north to south, from west to east, and east to west. We have repeated the search for other types of targets. To identify the depth, take a 45 degree angle left or right from the center of the target. Then keep moving forward when the transmitting antenna turns round. Measure the distance from the center of the target to the turning point of the transmitter antenna. This will be the depth of the target. For instance, if the distance between the target center and the antenna's turning point was 5 meters, the depth would be 5 meters. The Ionic Field Search System Install the handle of the device. Then install the Ionic Sensor. Enter the search systems. The device will switch to the ionic system automatically. 
First of all, what is the ionic system? It is a system that specializes in detecting ionic fields that form around gold and buried treasures. The explorer must stand facing north to south to enable the device to capture the ionic field. UIG company is working to ensure that you accurately apply the rules of using its products and to obtain the best results. The UIG team conducted fieldwork accompanied by a detailed explanation of how to search for targets and determine their depth precisely by experimenting with the device in the region. Search by moving the device from right to left. It should have an angle equivalent to 180 degrees. And when a sound signal is heard and the cursor appears on the screen, this indicates that a target has been discovered. Follow the beep by moving the device up and down. When you reach above the target, the device sounds will accelerate to confirm the presence of the target directly under the device. This system can also be used while driving a vehicle. VLF Metal Detection System Install the main unit by attaching it to the handle of the arm. Install the search coil. Then extend the arm, wind the cable at arm's length, and connect it into the main unit. Enter the search systems. The device will switch to the VLF system automatically. The VLF system screen contains several indicators. An indicator of the level of the non-precious metals, ferrous. An indicator of the level of precious metals, non-ferrous. A positive button and a negative button to control the sensitivity level on the search coil. The X button to ignore iron. How to handle Titan 400 smart device with VLF system. Pass your arm through the arm set and belt. Hold the detector's handle and support your forearm in the armrest. The correct positioning of the armrest should allow you to comfortably grip the handle. The elbow joint should be over the back of the armrest. You should feel the detector like an extension of your forearm. Adjust the arm's length. Extend the bottom shaft to the length appropriate for the user and secure the lock in the middle of the shaft to secure the column position. Extend the middle shaft and secure the lock on the upper shaft to fix the position of the shaft. The device handle can also be moved to match the user arm's length. If the search coil is too close to your body, it may detect drilling tools or any other metals that you carry, which affects the accuracy of the device's work. So it must be kept at a sufficient distance from your body. Set the search coil's angle. Attach the plastic screw that attaches the lower shaft to the search coil. Then tighten it enough to hold the coil in place. While holding the detector, gently press the search coil onto the ground until it is in parallel with the surface of the earth. The search coil should be raised 2 cm from the ground while keeping it parallel to the ground. 
the scanning coil. Note that incorrect scanning may cause loss of target or false signals to be generated. You will get the best performance when wiping the coil close and parallel to the ground at all times. This will increase the depth of detection and improve the response to small objects. Avoid excessive contact with the floor. Start the search process by moving the device left and right. When a precious metal signal is detected, the device will make a sound as the precious metal level indicator moves. When a precious metal signal is detected, the device will make a sound as the precious metal level indicator moves. If the signal is issued by a non-precious metal, the device will sound in a different tone as the non-precious metal level indicator moves. If you're only searching for precious metals, press the ignore iron button. When a non-precious metal is detected, the device will mute the sound with the non-precious metal level indicator moving. The device can capture two metals, precious and non-precious at the same time, and distinguish between them through the movement of the indicators of both precious and non-precious metals, and making two different sounds together. If the device picks up two metals, both precious and non-precious, and the ignore iron button is activated, the indicators of the level of precious and non-precious metals will move with the sound only for the precious metal. We will be passing a group of both precious and non-precious metals simultaneously. It consists of a piece of 24 karat gold pieces of raw gold, iron nails, and coins. When passing a group of precious and non-precious metals, we notice that the device distinguishes between them through the movement of the indicators of the level of precious and non-precious metals and making two different sounds together. The prospector will start the drilling process to extract the box that was buried four years ago. Inside this place with rocks and dust in the ground by the team of specialists at UIG Detectors.
Note, this box was buried at least four years ago, until the ionic field began to form which gives more possibility to capture the target and obtain greater depths. Therefore, testing the device on metals laid on the ground or newly buried under the ground will not show the real capacity and functionality of the device to detect the target and to reach larger depths. The reason for that is that ionic fields are radiations from gold and other metals that have been buried in the ground for a long time and have intersected and interacted with the soil and the nature of the earth, as well as having been regulated with the magnetic fields north and south. These features do not actualize in gold and other metals when they exist on the ground or newly buried. What you see now is a real field test to prove the effectiveness of the device and its capacity to discover gold, precious and non-precious metals, underground with all its systems. Now, after removing the rocks surrounding the burials, the box was removed and what was inside was confirmed after four years of burial. This system has a high ability to distinguish metals, whether precious or not at record time. The depth of search in the VLF system is 3 meters underground. The search depth in the long-range system and ionic system reaches 25 meters in the ground, and the long range is 3,000 square meters. G10 400 smart device can penetrate the Earth's layers to great depths that are difficult for many other devices to access. G10 400 smart device is one of the best German devices with a European CE certification according to international specifications. In addition to the International ISO 9001 certificate, this device is designed to function in all countries and regions. The true journey of exploration does not necessitate going to new lands, but rather requires seeing with new eyes. We wish you good luck with your expeditions.